All right, so now that we have learned the ray diagram for converging lenses, let us now understand some of its applications. Converging lenses or the convex lenses, they are used in the camera, the projectors and magnifying lenses. Right, this is your camera. This is the focus of a video where we are going to understand how the convex lens creates the image in case of a camera. Next video will be on projectors and the video after that will be on, will be on your magnifying lens. So let us begin. How does a camera look like? That's how the camera look like. That's an olden days camera. Nowadays, you have cameras on your mobile phones as well. So believe me, the mobile phone camera also looks something like this. You have a lens. Wherever you have a camera, you have a lens inside. If you see, you have a white lens inside. Behind the lens, you have a film on which the image is created. In case of mobile phone cameras, also you have a film. This film in the mobile phone camera is a digital film, right? So how does the camera work? The object for which you are clicking the picture from the camera, it should be beyond 2F. That's a compulsory necessity. And the image is always formed between F and 2F. The image is always real, inverted and diminished. Let us understand how and what we are talking about here. So let us practically understand and build our own camera. Let us go to our whiteboard. So the same screen that you see, that you have just seen. Now that we have a lens on the screen as well. Suppose that this is the, this is the lens of your camera, right? We have located the lens. Let us build a camera around this lens. That's what is our objective. So where do you place the object, right? The object lens distance, it is saying it is beyond 2F. Let us create a small simple table, table about the location of the object, where the object is and where the image is. So we are creating a kind of a table, alright. We know that when the object is at 2F, the image will always be at 2F. This is something that we already know. This is something that we have practiced in the special case ray diagram video. If you have not gone through this video, go through it. So what does it mean? If the object is at 2F, let us make an object at 2F. Where do you get the image? Image will be at 2F. Like this. All right, suppose that the object is at infinity. In front of your camera, the object can be anywhere at infinity. You can be clicking the picture of the stars, the sun, moon, or any distant scenery, say a mountain somewhere far away. So the object can be at infinity, possibility, right? So when the object is at infinity, where is the image created? Image is at focus. So if the object is at infinity somewhere here, that's your object. Where is the image? Image is at the focus. This is also done in the special case ray diagram. Object at infinity, where is the image? Focus. Object is at 2F, where is the image? 2F. If you see that the range of the image that is created, these two between the focus and the 2F. Let us, let me say it again. When the object is as distant as possible at infinity, the object is at F. When the object is at 2F, the object is, the image is at 2F. Let us take the object anywhere in between. Let us take the object anywhere in between to verify our understanding. We are going to take an object anywhere in between infinity. We are going to take an object anywhere in between infinity and 2F. So what are we doing? We are taking an object between 2F and infinity. 
that's where our object is. This is our object O. This is your object O. This is not a zero, but an O, which denotes an object O, which is between 2F and infinity. This object is between 2F at a greater distance than 2F and less than infinity. Let us draw the ray diagrams to find its image. A ray which comes parallel to the principal axis, it passes through the focus. A ray which moves through the center of the lens will pass as it is. So where is the point of intersection? Please locate the point of intersection. I'm putting it as a black dot here. Complete the image. All right, we have completed the image. Let us put some arrows as well before the lens. It's always a good idea, good practice to put the arrows. So what do you see? When the object is in between 2F and infinity, object is between 2F and infinity, where is the image? It is between F and 2F. The object is at a greater distance images between between 2f and f that's the location of the image so wherever your object is it has to be beyond 2f so whenever you're using the camera you have to make sure that the object is beyond 2f then the image will always be created in this zone between f and 2f Right. Let us now complete the camera box. Now let us now enclose this, enclose this lens in a box and create a camera. This is your camera. This block box that you see here. That's your. This box here is your camera. This box is your camera. Let me color this box as well. That's your camera box. What is the property now? Where do you put the photographic film? If you are taking a photographic film, let me take a film. Say that this is your photographic film. All you need to do is you have to put this photographic film anywhere between between focus and 2f. You have to move the photographic film only between these two regions to capture the image of an object which can be anywhere beyond 2f. You have completed the picture of the camera. The camera has a lens. You have the lens. The camera has a box enclosed which encloses the inside mechanism. You have the inside photographic film. This photographic film is located between, between f 2f that's where that's how you focus the image you move the photographic film between f and 2f to capture the image of any object which has to be beyond 2f you have constructed your whole camera that's the working mechanism of the camera and now let us understand the kind of the image which is created by the camera if you would have noticed the image is all real because every time you create the image no matter where the object is it's the real intersection of the rays of light which is taking place the image is always real image is always inverted and the image is always smaller in size that's what you want the camera to do if the mountain is large and humongous but the image of it should be fitting in a postcard size paper right so the image has to be diminished. You are serving your purpose. That's what the cameras do. All right. It is a small box in which the photographic plate has to move only a small distance to get the, get the object focused on it and capture a diminished real inverted image of it. You develop the image, you see it upside down. So your image will be upright. All right. Makes sense. That's, what, that's all about your camera. In the next video, we'll be talking about projectors.